Belvedere College is a Jesuit school and the main ethos of a Jesuit school is being a man for others and by doing this we hope that we're embodying that and making a real difference in today's society. This homelessness um, which we're trying to uh, aid uh, is a big problem in, in Ireland's modern society, especially in Dublin where this year alone seven people every single day uh, became homeless and every month almost 40 families became homeless and that's a real problem especially coming up to Christmas because Children are homeless around Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be a time for joy and laughter, but it's very difficult to achieve that without, without a house, without something that you can call a home, without being around a Christmas tree. So that's, that's really what Belvedere College is about, and that's what uh, we're trying to help today. And where did the sleep out uh, practice come from? You've been doing this for a few years. Yeah, so this is our 33rd year. Uh, it, it originated as the Belvedere Boot Fund, uh, where we raised money uh, for shoes, and we took shoes for people uh, who were homeless and who needed better footwear, like good hiking boots, they were here in Limsells. Uh, but that's really evolved as we've become bigger and bigger, because every year for the past uh, five years, we've gotten a bigger and bigger uh, amount of money. And they, that goes to Focus Ireland, uh, the Peanut Ferry Trust, Home Again. And we hope it makes a difference. In fact, we know it does, because we've seen Every year, folks starting to get to the point of where our money goes. Um, we do know it makes a difference because of the fact that uh, people are getting fed, homeless people are getting housed, um, thanks to money people donate uh, on the three days. Why is this crisis so bad at the moment? Well, we now have, we now have, as uh, Father Peter McFerry said, we now have more people sleeping rough in Dublin than any time in the nation's history, even more than the famine and during you know the strife of a hundred years ago. In your understanding, why are things so bad? Well, I think the fact that we're coming out of a recession, it's kind of counterintuitive. Like, you think things would be getting better, but they're really not. Like, as you said, Peter McFerry, uh, he, he mentions how it's actually getting worse. And we think the reason really being is because as people are getting more wealthy uh, coming out of the recession, people are people are thinking, people are making the making the connection that perhaps everything's getting better. That simply isn't the case. Because the fact more uh, jobs are getting more advanced and people need uh, say a higher education, some people find it very difficult to uh, perhaps get a job or um, find a way of getting an income. So that's what really leads people to the streets. Um, and also, the very fact that Peter McVeary said those things, uh, he gives us statistics almost on a, on a monthly basis, how things are getting worse. And if you think about it, the whole Apollo House uh, situation, it's given a big rise in the in the in the public's understanding of what homelessness is, and it's given them it's given the homeless a new, or it's given the members of the public a new outlook on what is homelessness. And I believe that well, hopefully things will get better because of uh, because of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So, is it the case that only a few people in the economy are getting wealthier to bring up the the whole economy? Or is this, is this just as you said, a, a skills differential between those with higher skills and higher education? I don't think that's really for me, me to comment on at this moment. I'm just uh, quoting, say, Peter and Barry. Um, but I think people are becoming less aware. And mm -hmm. I think it's time, uh, I think what we're doing really is trying to raise awareness for the problem that it's on. Mm -hmm. And just one, one more thing. What can the council or the government do if, if you could put one proposal to the doll to make this better. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's not for Steve uh, mm -hmm. to, to comment on.